Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to work on the scanners and the document fitters for HP Office Jet Pro A022, A025, A028, A035. After watching this, you're going to learn how to take it apart and replace some parts. If I miss any model numbers and they look like, like this, uh, they, are, they have the exactly the same structure, just some of them have different color. I usually like to have a worksheet so I can go step by step. If you want a copy of a worksheet or you want to get uh, some parts for your printer, uh, you can go to bchtechnology.com and go to printer parts, scroll down for HP. You can have an install uninstall workflow, which is the, the file I look I show you. And uh, or you can uh, just pick up, for example, print at the printer carriage and uh, ADF feeder. And all the parts you see today is on there. And also, if you f uh, wonder how you take the scanner and auto automatic document feeder out of uh, the printer, uh, I'm going to post a link above so you can click that link and see how it's done. First step calls for removing nine screws. Uh, you will need a T10 screwdriver. Uh, if you don't know what T10 is, just go to your local hardware store and uh, ask, them, ask for a T10. If you cannot find there, I'm going to put a link above so you can click the link and uh, purchase one from the internet. Now we're going to separate the scanner from the automatic document feeder. To open it up, just pull this lever. and just wiggle it and the two things are going to come apart eventually. Let's focus on the scanner first. The paper says pushing three tabs. However, you don't want uh, the bottom facing up like this way. I'll show you why. Because when you open it, everything going to fall off. Instead, uh, the glass set up. And also I want to point out that, that the little lever there, a malfunction there will cause the printer to think there's always a paper there or there's no paper there. You can start vertically and uh, just pushing the first tab. You will feel the top get lifted. Then you can put your finger there or have a plier there to hold the position. Then you, you can work on the second tab. But the last tab, you better have the glass side up uh, when you're ready to open the scanner. And now carefully remove the top. And uh, here it is. There is a long geared rail and uh, the, the scanner lamp going to go back and forth on this rail, sort of like a train. Uh, if your scanner lamp get burned out, here's how you replace it. Uh, if you wonder how it uh, travel on the rail, uh, here's a gear that uh, the motor going to drive it so it can travel on the rail. And uh, sometimes it's this belt loose and or you're missing that white part. Uh, lots of you ask me where that white part goes. Okay, let me show you where it is. It's in the middle, so it's sort of like a tension. We don't sell individual gears and uh, we all put all the gears here together. So you can get all the gears and or you can buy a belt or these are little teeth. Just in case, you, if you have a broken glasses, you need to replace the glasses. The scanner glass, there's a tab here. So you just push it in and use your finger to poke the glass. And then this one. That side is fixed, so it's harder to push that one. And uh, push the final one, the third one here. Remember that little guy I showed you at the beginning of the video? Make sure you don't lose it when you replace the glass. Uh, the white strip is really important for the scanner because that's when the uh, scanner gets start. It's going to scan this white strip. If uh, you get a yellow, yellowish strip or you get a ink on the strip, the scanner will, guess, will give you error. Okay, and now this guy. Two screws are metal. Okay. Eight screws after open the top.
four on each side. One, two, three, four. And the last one, you have to do it sideways and uh, put this backwards. So that's why you want a really long screwdriver. Now flip over. There are two tabs on top and uh, two tabs below it. You can have something put in place uh, after you loosen the, the top tab. Then just push on the bottom tab and it's going to open. And now just wiggle the base and the whole thing going to come apart. The left side of plastic just fall off. Uh, to remove the right side, uh, you're going to push this tab in. And then you can sort of use your hand just wrapping around, just hold it around, just move this way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.